Hi everyone, I'm Jamila and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a uh, salmon pate recipe for you and don't worry it's vegan, it's not real salmon. Um, I was kind of surprised that you can make carrots with a manipulation of ingredients taste like smoked salmon. And it's really good and it's very very close to the real thing in my opinion anyway. So let me go ahead and uh, share with you guys how to make this. The first thing you're going to need is some uh, dry carrot pulp left over from juicing carrots. Now you can use fresh grated carrots but um, you would need to blot the grated carrots dry because once you grate the carrots of course it, it would start to the carrots would start to release their juice and that would kind of interfere with um, the flavor. I find that it is best to use the pulp from juiced carrots so that the, the carrots are dry and um, don't have the extra flavor in them from the carrot juice. So I have three cups of carrot pulp. Right here this is three-fourths of a cup of fresh dill and this happened to be one uh, of those small packages of dill that you can pick up at the store. I think they're like three to four ounces. I have here also uh, four tablespoons of lemon juice. Now because salmon is a fatty fish you will need to add, well, according to my taste anyway, I needed to add some fat in here. So this is four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now you can play with it or leave it out if you prefer, but we're trying to repli replicate the taste of the salmon and salmon is not lean. Salmon is fatty so that's why um, you need to add some fat in there. Now I have uh, one and a half small shallots and if you were to measure this out you would need approximately um, six tablespoons of shallots. And then I have six tablespoons of dulse as well. And last but not least, well not last, but here I have a tablespoon of capers. Um, the dulse, of course, you know it's a seaweed so they'll add that sea or fishy taste. And the capers will add salt. Now I do have some pink Himalayan sea salt here just depending on when I get all the ingredients together. I may need a little bit more, a little less. Don't know yet, but I have it out just in case. Now this is a, also I failed to mention before, this is a mostly raw recipe. It would not uh, qualify as raw because smoked fish has a little bit of sweetness, so we are going to need a little bit of uh, sweetness. Now I'm going to be using a maple syrup. You, I haven't tried it with any other sweetener because I like the flavor of the maple syrup. Um, you can probably try using stevia or something else if you don't want to use maple syrup. That would be something that you would need to play with. But for me, the maple syrup helps to mimic that smoked uh, salmon flavor. And also another ingredient that is not raw, I have not been able to find anything like this that is raw. Um, and if someone can, please let me know in the comments so I can pick it up. But this is liquid smoke. And of course, if you're going to be replicating the taste of smoked fish or smoked salmon, you're going to need some type of smoky flavor. So that's what this will give you. Okay, so all we need to do is um, 
I'm going to be putting in all the ingredients except for these back here and my carrot pulp at first because I need to uh, grind down the capers until they are in small pieces and also the dill because I just did a rough chop on the dill so in goes the lemon juice the olive oil shallots capers and the dough. Now like I said, I'm going to be running this in the food processor until the dill and the shallots are in bit-sized pieces. Okay, now I have, <coughs> excuse me, the dill and the um, shallots in the little bits that I wanted, just to give you a look at that. So now I can put in everything else. I'm going to dump in the carrot pulp. Now I'm going to be putting in about a half a tablespoon of the pure maple syrup at first and then of course I will taste it once it's blended and see if I need to add any more. And I'm just going to add a few shakes of the liquid smoke. Should be enough. All right. And I'm going to run the food processor until this is all uh, blended nicely. All right, so let's go ahead and check our salmon pate here. And this is what the final product looks like. So I'm gonna take a little taste off of the spatula here. Mmm. It tastes like smoked salmon. Now um, with the, like I said before, the maple syrup, the smoke, and the salt, you need to go by your own taste. Um, I don't think you will need to add any salt because the capers are salty and adds the salt, salt flavor um, into the pate itself. But, you know, if you do find that you want a little bit more salt, then you can go ahead and add it. And also with the adjusting the liquid smoke and the maple syrup. So all that's left to do is just put this into a bowl and uh, serve it up. I put my salmon pate into a bowl. And I also went ahead and put some in some on some celery. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mmm. If you, as a vegan, have missed the flavor of smoked salmon, 
this pate is it. I'm going to finish this. I was going to put it down, but I'm going to go ahead and finish it. <laughs> and you can also serve this pate on bagels with cream cheese um, or in a salad over greens um, as a spread and a sandwich. It's very versatile. So there you have it. My smoked salmon pate. If you enjoyed this video and like the recipe, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to share with all your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more recipes. Until next time, bye.